put this? Oh, your screen is not visible, Ravi. <clears throat> okay, let me see. Can anyone confirm is it visible or not? Yes, it's visible. Yes, it's visible. Okay. So yesterday we have learned about two functions. One is distinct by. So what it will do? It will give you distinct result out of this array. You will get what were unique like. It will remove the duplicate one. Correct. Open that. So what it will do, it will give you. Let's say here we have repeating element one is repeating, three is repeating, two is repeating. So it will remove the repeating value and it will give you only. Like a distinct value from this array. OK. So how you will identify. In this. Array? Our objective is here. We need to find the duplicate element, which is coming two times. Okay. So first thing that we need to know how many elements are unique here, distinct here. And then first we will find how many are distinct here. Payload. Distinct by <laughs> so you can see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. Okay, four is two time here. Okay, but if you see here, one, two, three, four, four is only one time here. Okay, let me add few more. Duplicate. Okay, two is two time here, but here two is one time. So what it 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 will do? Sorry, what this function will do? It will remove all the duplicate function from here. Okay, and it will give you only distinct number in this array. Okay, we are getting only distinct. Now. How we will identify what all are duplicate here? So you can see here, two is coming two time, four is coming two time. If we will 
remove this array. Like if we will remove this array from this array, then what will left here? Okay. So one minus one, one will be removed. Two minus two, two will be removed. Three minus three, three will be removed. Four minus four, removed. Fifty-six, removed. Seventy-six, removed. Seven, removed. Eight, removed. Then this five, removed. Then you can see here, this two is here. Okay. We already removed this two by this two, but this two is additional. Okay. So this two will be still here. Then. Four again. It's a repeating one, so four will be here. Okay. So what I will do? Reload. Minus minus. It seems that minus minus will work on array also, but why it's not working then? Zero one one two minus one two, then it will give only zero. Okay, okay. This function will not work. So what this function minus minus will do? See here, zero minus this this array minus this array. So zero we don't have zero, so zero will be here. One we have one, one will be removed. Again one one is here, one will be removed. So this minus minus in array it will search for any of this element. So this particular way will not work. Let me think. Ravi, yes. Ravi, I have done it in one way. Uh, shall I paste it in the chat? So, is it what you did? I'm saying I have done it in one way. Uh, shall I paste it in the chat? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, paste it.
Yes. Shall I share my screen? Yeah, wait a minute. Let me. I thought like it will be. We can do this by simple way. OK, that's why I given this assignment, but it looks like it's a very complex one. OK. I'm just explaining at this moment. Maybe like you people will not able to understand since uh, we are using too many functions here and few functions are a bit complex also. But still I'm explaining anyhow we took this and this is very favorite interview question. Many times they will ask this during your interview. So I'm just uh, like uh, explaining one time. Okay, try to understand what all you can understand. So what will be <coughs> sorry? Will I able to identify duplicate number? So first you need to have all the number, and you need to have distinct number. What is unique number? And then we will check for each number. We will check like for e each distinct number. We will check. Let me do in this way. What logic I applied? Let me explain it mathematically. So this is number and this is the unique number, distinct number. So what I did? First I identified distinct number. How I did this? I use the. Group by function first. OK. OK, first what I did. Group by function, what it will do? Let's say here one is one time, so it will create one array of one. And two is two times, so it will create two comma two. Two times, so it will create. What is two times, so it will create like this. So like that it will create this array, array of array. And 56 is one time, so 56 will be created one.
Okay, using group by function, I did this and this will be array of array. Then second thing what I did, using plug like just created proper structure. Okay, before that, before using group by, it was giving some index also. So I removed the index. Then map function. Map function, what it will do? It will iterate on each element of array. Okay, this this array has this array, so it will iterate on each element. So you can see here how many time it will iterate, how many distinct number we will have. Those many time it will iterate. Since using all distinct number, we are creating this group. So let's say here we have five distinct numbers. So here five array will be created. OK, and what we are doing here? We are using map function. OK, map function I will explain with uh, simple example also soon. So map function iterates, or iterates on each element of array. OK, so it will iterate on each element of array. What we are doing? When we are iterating with this, we are checking size of. If size of one, size of this array is greater than one, means this is a this is not a distinct number. This is duplicate number. So here we will get false. Here two comma two size of two each. Size of this array is greater than two means this number is duplicate number. So what we are doing here? size is greater than one, then we are taking that item. Else we are taking empty string. OK, if you see here till this point. If for one size of one is size of first array. Size of first array is less than one. So that's why it's coming as a false. And if false is there, false means empty string. Size of second element that is two, two is two times. So greater than one. So take the first element of that array that is two, then three like that. Okay. So in this way, we are creating this like how many are unique number or how many are repeated number. And then this filter function, what we are doing? We are removing all the item containing empty string. That item should not contain, not equals to means, should not contain empty strings. Only this three number is there. And this three number is duplicate, like repeating number. time it might be difficult okay so whatever you got let it be i will uh, like explain one more time okay so before that i will give you one playlist link also from there also you need to do lots of learning and today also we will go with some more functions it okay we can move okay maybe here flux means uh, what is that is the flux Plug function, what it do? It will iterate on each element of object and it will give you array. OK. Yeah, we'll give you more example and better example. OK. Well, I will explain plug function. Okay. And the second one, uh, the filter one, uh, I didn't get you. Garam, what will you explain? Sorry, second one, yeah, that one is simple. That's simple. Give me one minute.
Shopping. Let me take another example. You need to remove filter out all the users with this name. OK. So here we have payload. So for this, you will use filter function. So syntax will be payload. Then filter. We have employee, so payload dot employee. Is repeating not employee is repeating. OK, now in this. We will do filter. What filter we will do? Item dot. OK. So this inside this object, what we will check? We will check. Item dot user ID. Equals to equals to what should be it? So you can see here. Here we have this payload. Okay, inside this payload we have this employees. Okay, so this employee is repeating node here, like this. Then next, then next, like that. It's repeating nodes are here. Okay, so what filter function will do? Whatever repeating node is there, repeating object is there. In that object, it will check 
item means this entire payload item dot user id in this payload user id equals to equals to run okay so you can see here result we are getting this okay other one we have here only region should be ca okay we need all the employee which region should be ca So here, instead of user ID, what we will use? What region we want to filter out? E. So how many are here? One, two, three. Okay, all I think having region C A only. Let's say this one has B. A. Then this will be removed from the result. Now you can see we have only two. First one and third one. Index zero one and index second one. Index one, one like index one that is second node will be removed. Okay, everyone clear with this filter function? What is the difference between filter and filter object? Okay. I'm not sure yeah. where to use both uh, scenarios. Now coming to filter object, okay. This is filter function works on array and filter object function works on object. Okay. So now here we have this payload as a uh, array. Okay. So in filter object, we will go. So here, let's say I want to filter if any having value equals to, let's say, E2. Okay, I want to filter out all the key value pair where value is E2. So what I will do? Value equals to equals to. So what it will do, it will iterate on each element of object. Okay, first it will go with this. It will check value is e2 no, e2 no 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 no. This one value is et yes. So it will take his yes. value is et so, yes. like it works. I'm sorry, so it works only for one object. Means if you have comma and other object, it will not work. Yes. Only for mm -hmm. a single object. Okay, okay, I got. It. Thank you. Uh, I joined a little late. Can anyone share the request payload in the chat? Yeah, it's the day one only. Someone has already shared in our WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, fine. So we will see some more functions. Okay. Flatten function also we use very frequently. Okay. Say here we have three array. Okay. And we want to merge this three array into single array. Okay, then we use this flatten function. Okay, so how we will do that? Let me show you. <clears throat> so 
So what it will do? <laughs> it will convert array of array into single array. Let's say we have here. One comma two, three comma six comma eight, eight nineteen. Okay, so we have here three array, and those three array are inside of one another array. So what I want to do, I want to make it single array. In single array, it will be one two three six eight eight nine zero. Okay, so how we will do that? Flatten. And then here we need to provide the array. You can see here result is like this. <clears throat> Everyone clear with this? Means if you want to comment the string also, we can use this one. If you want to comment string string values, uh, comment the string values. Sorry, I am not getting. Means instead of numbers, if you put yes. the string values, A, B, like yes, yes, it will work. It will work. Flatten is only for arrays, sir. Yes. Array of array into single array. Okay. Ravi, will it not work on array of payloads? Uh, I mean, sorry, array of objects? Or yeah, is it, it only work. for array on, uh, of arrays only? of object it should be array of array only you can check here stream computer array and then array only see sorry Here we have one array. This is another array. Smurgy. Stream capable item array. Yeah, it will work on that array or and sub array. Sorry, array of object also it will work. We are doing here. This is one array and this is second array. Latin my data dot user. Okay, no, no, no. What they are doing here? On top of this array, they are creating additional array. Yeah. Let me explain. 
let me explain you. I was trying to do something. Can I show you, Ravi? Yes, yes. Okay, let me share my screen. Hmm. Are you able to see? Not yet. No. Yes. Okay. I was trying this. See. Uh, let me move it. Yeah, so if I try this right, I was expecting all the keys would come into same, but it is not happening on just an array. Uh, so it is having two objects. If I flatten it, then it will just return the same thing. But if I change it to two arrays here, like this. If I take two arrays, right, this is, so this is the main array. And within this, there is two child array then it will um, create a single array and take all the objects but i was thinking that if i do it on a single array of objects then it would uh, put all of them together like a b c d it will work on array of array okay hmm. so then only it will work yeah. okay 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 thank you You can continue then. Okay, so next, we'll see what function we have. Flatten we see. I already saw you in <coughs> example, but let me take it with simple example. So here you can see ABC is there, group by index. So here, this age on index zero, that's why age coming with index zero, one is with B and two is. <laughs> so what it will do? It will arrange this with their index okay but this one will not be much useful this example this one will be more useful example so here you can see in this array we have three object name with name language name language name language but here you can see two of them have language is java so what we are doing group by item okay so what this group by function will do it will i group this particular let me take Do you need to move the var below output?
So what we are doing here using group by function in this array, we are grouping based on this within this item. This is first item. This is second item. This is third item. Within this item, we are taking the language. OK, what all language are matching language? So we will group them in one. So Java one, all Java is coming here. And then all scale is coming here. If we will have more scale, then it will be added here. Correct. And if you want to make it simple. so here we have can yes. you explain why this plug what does plug do let me take them see like direct example of plug function mm -hmm. take any one example Generally, plug function works in a uh, reverse order of like this. Mm. Map object. OK, so what map object function do? Map function iterate on each element of object. Let's say okay, let me take this example. If I will do <coughs> map object function. OK, so what it will do here within this object, we have two key value pair. It will iterate on each key value pair and whatever you want to do, you can do. In case of map object function. And you can see here output input is also array. Sorry, JSON object output is also JSON object. But if we will use plus function. What it will do, it will iterate on each element of array. Whatever condition you will kept here, that condition will be executed and then output you will get array. Only difference with plug function. Or map object function. Map object function will iterate on each element and it will give you object only, but plug function will give you array. So what we are doing here? We have <clears throat> three parameter here and what we are doing here? We are taking index from the index. That is this one. Then we are displaying value. Value is this one and bracket key. Key is this one. So what plug function will do? It will iterate on each element of object. OK, and then. In that object. Whatever operation you will perform, that operation will come in array. OK. Ravi, will the plug work only on object or on arrays as well? No, input should be object only. Input should be object, output will be array. Mm -hmm. And why there is this uh, like index? Index you are surrounding it with uh, first bracket. Why is that? Yeah. Only like if you want to take any dynamic value in key. Okay, this is key part, correct? Mm -hmm. Left hand side is always we put key and right hand side we put value. Mm -hmm. If you want to take any dynamic value on key part, then it should be surrounded by bracket. Otherwise, it will not able to fetch index value. If you will remove the bracket, then everywhere 
here it will come index, here it will come index. But you want to take the value of index, so you need to put inside the bracket. Okay, that's why you have not put uh, in the key. Uh, not enclosed key with... Uh, key is right hand side. Right hand okay. side always it will try to fetch the value. But left hand side, if you want to take the, if I remove this, you can see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in, in left hand side, you want to take the value of that particular thing, then it should be enclosed by bracket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So you can see here only difference between plug and map object map object iterate on each element of array whatever you want to do you will do and return will be object only but in case of this plug function it will iterate on each element of array and it will give just give me one minute Uh, sorry, I got dropped off and uh, rejoined. Can anyone like explain what is the difference between this platform map object? Map object, I think, will work on the keys of an object and uh, return you an object only. And uh, plug will return an array. Okay. That's what I understood. Uh, okay, let's see. Thank you. Ravi, can you repeat group by? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what yeah someone asked about the plug function correct difference between map object and flux so map object iterate on each element of object okay here let's say So if I will do map object function on this payload. So whatever you want to do here, let's say here I want to instead of taking key value i want to take index value so i use this map object it will iterate on each element of object so first time it will iterate with this 
So index will be zero, value will be B. Second time it will iterate on this. Okay. So <clears throat> index will be one and value will be D. Yeah, so we got this. Everyone clear with this? Yeah. It it comes from right to left, right? Are we like looking my right to left? Or I didn't get what why you are saying right to left. No, like first uh, you said index value will come right like zero is the index. So you wrote the index uh, equals to value at uh, after the value comma key and index. So this is where we are capturing the value. Okay, in each iteration we are capturing the value, but what all we want to perform you need to do here after this arrow symbol. Uh, Ravi, the confusion is like we have value key index in that syntax, and here we are returning uh, index and value. So he is yes. asking whether it is traversing from right to left. No, this is like writing a way of writing this map object function. So when it will iterate on each element of object, let's say it's iterating, iterating here. So this three value will be captured in this. Okay. Now what all you want to display here? OK, that you need to put here. OK, so even if you put value uh, or uh, colon and uh, index in brackets, it will work in the reverse way. Instead of index you? colon, uh, instead of index colon value, if you put like value on the left side and index on the right side, will it work? Yes, yes, whatever you want. It's up to you where you want to put the value, where you want to put the key. It will work. Oh, OK. Thank you. OK, so this is for map object function. Here it is. Object again. Now if I take plug function on this. Inside we will do same thing. Put a comment out, you can put this. Now you can see difference. Previously, we were getting the output, we were getting object, but this time we are getting array of object. Everyone clear with this? Yeah. Uh, Ravi, can I request you one thing? Uh, you were showing an example of group by, and with group by, yes. you were using plug in conjunction to that. Can you now show that once? Because now maybe we'll be able to understand that one. We try, oh, but I removed. Still, I will suggest you, okay, wait for some time. Okay. Like that, that is a bit complex example that comes in interview, but that will, that is complex one, okay. Maybe after a few more classes, not data view classes. So what I will do, so data we uh, will complete today only whatever we can. And then I will share you one YouTube video link for everyone. So you people need to go through those video and try to get in-depth knowledge in data. View. Okay. Data view like syntax wise and everything you can see it's very straightforward and simple. Only thing uh, you need to know it has many 500 plus predefined function. So you need to know how to 
like what all function do exist? You don't need to remember the syntax at this moment. Just you need to know how this function works and what all function exist. So in future, if you will get any like any requirement or anything, you will have idea. OK, this kind of thing exists. Then just Google it and get the syntax. OK, sure. Okay. Can you explain group by once again, please? Okay. Let me take an example. I can take. Okay, this one is not a good example. Let me take from their website only. This one you can see. So here we have. Here we have. My array. Inside my array, we have three repeating element. OK. In those repeating element, you can see language for two. We have Java language and for one we have scale language. So my requirement is whoever doing Java language, create a group of that and whoever doing. Scale language, create a group of them. Those people, OK, so what you will do? Sorry, this one we are storing value into array. My array. Then group by. OK, we want to group based on this language. So item index item means this is entire item. First time this will be item and index will be zero. Second time this will be item index will be zero. So what we will do every time. Item. dot language so we are doing group based on the language so you can see here we are getting all the java one in one place all the scale one in one place is it clear now yes and Ravi, you were saying something earlier uh, when you were showing this group by uh, how to remove that index from there. OK. So. If you want to remove so you can use plug function. OK, so generally what plug function do. It will iterate on each element of object. Iterate on each element of object. OK. And what it will do. Whatever you will perform, OK, that will come in one array. So what I will do, I will use plug function and I will use dollar dollar means. OK, otherwise let me use proper syntax. Dollar means the value. Yes, value. Plug function. Now it will iterate on each element of array and I want only value. So. Hmm. Now can anyone tell me? Here we are getting two array inside this main array. We are getting two array. I want to make it all this in single array. What function Flat we will M. use? Yeah. App object. Sorry. Flat Flat M. M. 
You'll enclose yeah. the entire thing in Flatten, right? Yes, correct. What it will do, it will convert array of array into single array. Ravi, no. does, yeah, does group by trace only on array or object as well? Group by. Uh, by. Yeah, it should be array only. Okay. You can try one more time. Okay. Mostly it should be on array. After that, we have this kind of function each blank, each decimal, each empty, like that. Okay, so let's say I mean, those are uh, those we'll see. I mean, if others want to explore, that's fine. But can you show reduce uh, one request? Reduce. Yeah. Okay. Yes, since you said today is the last class on DataWeb, so that's why. I think uh, let me take one more session. Yeah, there are many uh, useful functions are there, like in key functions are there still pending. So I will take one more class. Okay. Okay. So here. Uh, we have this array and so which function we will use to iterate on each element of array? Map. Yes. Map function. Okay. And what I want to do or better let use filter function. And what I want to do? I want to Take only even number here. Okay. So I will put each even. This is also a very famous interview question. Or you can say popular interview question. They will give you one array and they will tell you to find all the even number, to find all the odd number like that. Having one doubt too, means in real time we are used uh, inside the functions inside like that. Means how to debug means which function will come first and sorry, sorry. in the DW. Means in the real time we are using hmm. the inside the function the flat or map object inside that one like that. Means how to debug in the data view. Left means to right. It will go left to right. Which function will you will go? Yeah. Or I like I do prefer. Let's say you applied one function and you will do something on top of that result. So put inside one bracket. Putting an ending bracket and then do second function. Once you get the result, expected result, put inside the bracket and then apply next function. Can you show me one example? Oh, yeah. Okay. So let me do uh, that same example. What uh, like we we did very beginning now. 
we want to remove all the duplicate elements. So let me do that example only then. So first thing, what we want to do here, we have this array and I want to check how many of repeating elements are here, duplicate elements are here. So first thing what I will do, I will group them based on their value. Okay, first I will group them based on their value. So payload. Group by group by based on item value means item. So you can see I group them based on item. Now I want to apply second another function on on top of this. So I will put inside this packet. OK, now another function I will apply that will work on this result. OK, what result we have here. So what I will do? I want to remove this index from here okay i want to generate one array so which function will use plug function in plug function i will take value only now i have all this like uh, array where like I have this array where we have all the repeating element in their group. All the elements are in their group. One is one time, two is two time, three is two time, four is two time. Like that. We have this group. OK, now what I will do. I will iterate on each element of array and we'll check how many of having count more than one this one having more than one this one having more than one so these are get element okay so again i want to apply new function on this result so which function will apply filter filter Yes. <coughs> what filter we will do? Where size item? Item greater than one. Size of item greater than one. Okay, this one is more simple one. Yeah. So now I got all the like uh, all the el elements which is having duplicate value. Okay, now yeah, previous approach what we followed. Yeah, this one looks more simple than that. So I got all the array where we have duplicate element. Now what I want to do, I want to display one item from here, one item from here, one item from here. So which function will iterate on each element of array? Map. <coughs> Map function. String. Yeah. 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 No, no. Map function. Map function and what we will do? In among like if we will take item, means we are displaying this two times. If I, I will take first item of this array. Item this is my item. Okay, but I want to take only two. So what I can do item zero. <coughs> Sorry.
everyone clear with this? No, can you repeat? From starting. Okay, let's the last part. part. Probably you can just uh, quickly repeat this part. <laughs> yeah. The last part. So first, what we are doing here? If I want to explain in this way, no, then let me do one thing. Let me remove all this bracket. So first what I'm doing in this array, okay, I will create group of array with their like, let's say, I am grouping these numbers using their value. Okay, so you can see first we have one, second we have two and this two, both two here. So I am grouping this items based on their value. Okay, this part everyone clear using group by function and you can see here. In group by, so sometime you will see item, sometime you will see value, both has same meaning on. Hey, why you it's not can, starting from uh, zero actually? Starting from one. Where we have zero, oh, zero is there. Okay, the, this will not do in same order. Like it, this will not do in, same order it will start from here first element is one so it will check for all the one okay, you can see here after 76 7 is coming so first 76 it will check and then it will check seven if you want to do group in ascending or descending order then i think we have one then ascending or something is there I cannot recall that, but if you want to do, then you can arrange. But in our case, our main objective is not to ascend and descend. Our objective is to find the duplicate number. So we don't need that ascending, descending thing. Is it clear? Yes. Sir. So first what I did, I collected all the element in their group. Okay, now second thing, what I want to do, I want to make it array of array. Okay, I want to convert this JSON object into array of array. So which function we will use? Plug function. So in plug function, what we are doing, we are taking value. When it iterating on each element of object, we are only taking value part. So we are taking only this part this part, this part, okay? So it will do that. To make it compatible, what we will do, let's put one bracket here. I think after item we need to remove, right? And 
one after value. Now we are being plug function. So plug function, it removed the, uh, we are taking using plug function. We are converting that JSON object into array and it iterates on each element of array. Okay. So everyone, everyone clear with this? What we did first function using first function group by we grouped them into we grouped into based on their value and then second function we converted that object into array. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to filter like to make a, to find the duplicate one. So what all are having duplicate value? So if their count is more than one. Okay, here this one is only one time, so this is not duplicate here. It's two time means it's a duplicate value. So this is one time. This is not a duplicate. So. Filter. Item comma index based on the size of item. Greater than one. Better to put inside the packet. Okay. So here. What we are getting, we are getting this. Like what all duplicates elements are there, we are getting all those. Now, since what what we did, we filtered out from that array what all having more than two elements, like more than one element. OK, so this these three are here which having more than one element and then I want to display only this element. So again, I will use map function and when it will iterate on each element of array, then I will take only index zero. Index zero means only one number, only one number. So I took item zero. It's clear now. Everyone clear yes, with sir. this? Yes, sir. Okay, so we are good for today. Let's continue our session. So tomorrow we will have project related session. Real time project. Any assignment ready? Yeah, let me work on assignment now. I think you click in practice. Yeah, let me think on and, assignment part. And can you, can you share that YouTube uh, playlist ready? Playlist I already shared in group know. description. No, no, not that one. You told uh, something today is class, right? We have to go through those uh, YouTube videos to understand the okay, data. Okay, function. Okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, one more 
kind request for like if uh, class is not there or classes there could you please intimate the day before uh, so that we can plan our day accordingly see like indian time i am saying wednesday thursday saturday and sunday we will have class okay, okay. if we will not so have class any day <laughs> Yeah, if we will not have class, then I will inform for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, sorry, right. Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday. Yeah, if we will not have class, then only I will inform. Sure, and sure. on weekday, if we will have any extra class, then I will inform. Let's say Monday, Tuesday and Friday, we don't have class. If I will take, I will inform one day prior. Right, that will be better. Thank you. can go to my YouTube channel. OK, and uh, then go to playlist. Here you can search for data view. Okay, 12 video are here. Few more video like yeah, more video I am planning, but this 12 video contains almost 100 200 functions. As a muse of developer having five, six years of experience, this 12 video is good enough. We covered all the and we have mentioned which all functions are frequently used, which all are wide like less frequently used, so everything we have mentioned. Oh, sure, Ravi. But could you please share this link in the chat? Okay. I will share. 